So there's all types of different douchebags. There's different shapes, different colors. Uh, th th there's just tons of douchebags. They're like, they're like Pokemon. I know it's Pokemon, but it's so much better just to say Pokemon. It's just, it's just awesome. It just, it brings the mood up. Actually, try it yourself, and don't just say you tried it. Actually, try it. Say out loud. Pokemon! It, it's fucking awesome! Anyways, there's tons of different types of douchebags. You got your douchebag that you're walking down the hallway, and you're looking at your phone so you can't see what's in front of you, and this guy fucking shoulder bumps you, and he's like, ugh! And you're just like, what? You got your douchebag that you're just sitting there doing your homework, and he walks over and asks how much you bench. And it's like, it's pretty fucking obvious I don't go to the gym. Like, I'm not like skinny skinny, but I'm not like, it, it's obvious I don't go to the fucking gym. Why are you asking me this? But today we're going to be talking about one douchebag in particular. This guy is known as the spewer. He just comes up to you and just tells you random facts about shit going on in his life that nobody gives a shit about. And the worst thing about this guy is that he does it daily. So I'm walking to class one day. I think it was my uh, freshman year of high school and uh, my first class is history. So I go in, I sit down and uh, out of nowhere, somebody's just like, Calvin! And I'm like, oh shit, hey. And I turn around and it's one of my, uh, I wouldn't call him a friend, but it was somebody that I used to knew, know, like in elementary school, right? And I'm just going to call him Mick, okay? I'm just going to call him Mick. All right, so Mick was one of those people that, you know, he's pretty tall. He's pretty buff. He has no, like, physical defects or anything like that. But uh, he just says the most stupidest shit, like, world record, like, fucking retarded shit, right? And, um... I think he had some learning disorders. I'm, I, I don't want to hate on anybody with any learning disorders, but I think this kid may have had one or two learning disorders. So, um, anyway, anyways, I don't want to get into the learning disorders, but, uh, Mick was one of those people that had two types of relationships going for him in his life. He had the one type that he would just kind of talk down to those type of people, that he, he would try to make himself seem like a total badass, and the other type of people were people that he considered to be better than him, so people that, like, played sports with him, and he would just lick their asshole like a complete dog, like this. <laughs> Mick comes up and he's just like, hey, Calvin, what's going on? And he like high fives me and tries to do like some special handshake, which I have literally no idea how to do. And he's like, oh, Calvin, you don't know our special handshake, huh? And I'm like, no, I don't. And I'm thinking in my head, no fucking shit. I don't know your special handshake. What were you expecting? That I'm a fucking telekinesis fucking superhero? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I know this shit. Here we fucking go. <laughs> But anyways, after the very awkward, you know, special handshake shit, he just starts spouting random shit about what's going on in his life. And you know what? If you're proud of something, I admit, you know, you, you should tell people about it. That's okay. That's ways to make conversation. But it, it, he, this kid is like on a whole new level. Like, I'm not even joking at all. This kid jumped on his shit like fucking Spider-Man, okay? He was all over the place just... <laughs> swinging webs everywhere of his fucking bullshit. It, what, like, he literally was like... Oh yeah, Calvin just got done making my fucking, you know, soup at my house and it was so good. He's like, oh, I'm getting a brand new car too. I'm like, oh dude, nice, that's that's sick. And he's like, oh yeah. And he's just like spouting random shit now. Like, it, it, it's not even big deals. He's just like, oh yeah, getting a fucking fridge in my room. Uh, got a new lighter, new wallet. Uh, my car keys are black. And I mean, me at this point, I'm just like, oh nice, cool dude. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Like, that's literally how the conversation's going. He just, oh, yeah, car, fan, new coffee mug. And I'm like, nice, dude, nice. And, uh, you know, it was pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. And even after all of that shit and diarrhea that came out of his mouth, I think that I wouldn't have wanted to make a video about this. And I don't even think I would have considered him a douchebag until he did this. So I think the last thing he says is like, oh yeah, I got a brand new hat, it's blue. And I'm like, oh cool, I like the color blue too. And I'm like trying to make any conversation at all, right? Besides just listening to him spout his bullshit. And then he gets really close to me like I just offended him or he's about to murder somebody or some shit, I don't fucking know. And he gets really close like this. And he's like, what have you done? So I looked him back in the eye, and he's he's pretty close to me. Now, obviously, he's not like he's not gonna kiss me or something like that, but he he's pretty close to me. And I said, well, I woke up five minutes late. I got in the shower. I took a shower. After that, I brushed my teeth, made a cup of coffee, made some toast, got in my car, and drove to school. 
And now, I'm talking to you. Mick looks at me like I just said the most offensive thing in the fucking universe. He just, he just looks at me, right? And he, he like, smiles and then walks back to his seat. He doesn't even say, like, hey, I gotta go for a bit. He just stares at me and walks back to his seat. And I'm like, what the fuck? And, you know, at this point in time, I would consider this a weird experience, but I still don't think it would be worth a video if it just ended like that. But, uh, anyways, about a week passes, I, I think that Mick hates me, right? I, I don't know what his deal was, but, uh, like, a week passes, and I'm going to class one day, I open the door, and guess who's there? Well, Mick's always there, but Mick is literally sitting on my desk, right? Like, he's waiting for me, and I'm like, oh, shit, what the hell does he want? So I walk over to my desk, and I'm like, hey, what's going on, Mick? How, how you been? And, uh, he just looks at me, and he's like, Calvin, guess what? And I'm like, oh, what? And he's like, I made the basketball team. And I'm like, oh, nice, dude. That's You, you kind of already told me about this like a week ago. But uh, it, it's all good, dude. Like, um, that, that's great. And he's like, no, 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 Calvin, I'm starting. And I'm like, oh, congrats, dude. High five. And he high fived me. He tried to do the special handshake again, which <laughs> I, I don't even know, man. I love how after the special handshake fails for the second time, he's like, Calvin, you still don't know about the special handshake, huh? And I'm like, nope, didn't develop telekinesis yet, man. So to cut it short, it's just the same shit over again. He just starts spouting bullshit about his life. He's like, oh yeah, Calvin, guess what? And I'm like, oh, what? He's like, just got new fucking pair of pants. What pants do you have that are new? I'm like, oh, I just have these khakis, that's it. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Got a brand new shirt, $40 t-shirt. And I'm like, oh, nice. He's like, what t-shirt do you have? I'm like, oh, just this t-shirt right here. And this same shit goes on, like, every three days for, like, the next six months. He just comes up to me, and he's like, oh, yeah, Calvin, just got my brand new license plate. What do you have? And I'm like, I have the same license plate as you and everybody else in Utah, you fucking dipshit. No, I'm kidding. But this same shit really does go on for, like, the next six months. Whenever he's feeling down, he just comes over, and he's just like, oh, yeah, Calvin, just got a brand new toilet in my house. And it's like, okay, dude. But uh, the same shit goes on for like the next six months, and eventually I just have enough of it. And uh, it's not so bad in the sense that I need to stand up and be like, dude, no one gives a shit at all. Like, I don't care, dude. Shut the fuck up. But it's not like, I just don't want to sit here and listen to him anymore. So finally, we get to the title of this video, The Method of How to Deal with These Douchebags. Drumroll, please! <laughs> Alright, so the key thing you have to do with dealing with these people is to repeat one line over and over again whenever he says his bullshit. No matter what it is, you just gotta repeat that line. And my line was, good for you, buddy. This over and over and over again, okay? He comes up to you, hey, what's up, Calvin? Just got a brand new fucking uh, Coke in my room, you know? And I'm just like, good for you. You know, sometimes you can mix it up with a, uh, wow, cool. You gotta, you gotta, like, say it really fast, though, because if you say, Wow, cool. It's too subtle. It's too obvious. And uh, if you say it too fast, you it sounds like you have Tourette's. Just listen to it. Just, wow, cool! But anyways, after a few months of me just saying, you know, good for you, bro. Good for you, bro. He eventually just straight up fucked off. But yeah, guys, that is how you deal with the spewers. I know that there's different types of douchebags and there are different ways to handle them. And the, the good for you doesn't work on pretty much all of them. But, uh, actually... That actually could work on most of them. So I pretty much just solved all your problems. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you want to leave it a like, it really helps out my channel. And I will love you a long time and I will do whatever you say.